You ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So hey, Fumble fans, thanks so much for tuning in to Press Pass with Britt Johnson. I'm your host, Britt Johnson, and I'm here with one of my very good friends, Larry Drew II, aka Larry Light. What is up? Uh, Mike's great. What's going on with you? We're in your house right now. He had to clean up a lot before <laughs> we got this clean enough to shoot, but it's going to work out. Got the crystals on deck Yeah, and they can't for see you. that. We'll show you guys uh, later. Yeah, I think sure. you're going to give us a tour of a, a location you're gonna on. You're going to get a tour of Yeah, of, of, we got a lot going on today. For sure, yeah. So, um, you recently, this past weekend, participated in the mini camp for USA. How did that go? Uh, it was great. Um, I had a you know, great time at all different types of all-stars and, and, and all-time NBA coaches, so you know, I really soaked a lot of it in. Who is one of um, the players that maybe, I'm sure you've probably met everybody at some point, but what was a player that maybe you didn't meet prior to that time or you kind of just gelled with during camp? Uh, honestly, you know, my ex-teammate, so I was a part of the 2000 and now 2018 uh, FIBA America qualifying team with Team USA, mm -hmm. coached by uh, Jeff Van Gundy. Uh, we actually were invited back to the to the national team camp. Um, it's kind of like a solid, you know, for, right. for holding things down while while um, you know the guys were off playing in the NBA, taking care of what, what they had to take care of um, while we were out, you know, uh, representing the country and making sure that we uh, were able to qualify. You're actually from a basketball family. Your dad played in the league. All of your brothers played, at least at the collegiate level. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me how it was growing up in a basketball household. It was, I mean, all basketball. Basketball <laughs> dominated, like to say the least, but it didn't seem like anything out of the ordinary just because it was, you know, everyday life for me. Now, um, your dad actually currently is the associate head coach for the Cavs. Mm -hmm. um, you've, I've seen you on Snapchat and Instagram. You've gone to many finals and things like that. LeBron is no longer there. Nah. What, what do you think about LeBron coming to LA? I think it's great, man. Like uh, I'm, I'm a diehard Lakers fan at heart. Uh, you know, Lakers. Oh, are, does your how does your dad feel about that? Uh, you know, <laughs> honestly, I feel like maybe deep down inside, he's he's a Laker also. You know, okay. at heart, like I don't know if he'll ever admit that, but um, I mean, you know, I was born and raised out here. Uh, my pops got a chance to coach Kobe when he first got to the team in '97. Uh, you know, Shaq, you know, the whole dynasty thing, man, and, and, you know, I'm super proud to be from where I'm from, and, you know, I think LeBron coming here is just going to get us more rings at the end of the day. Do you, th how soon do you think the Lakers are going to get a ring with LeBron James on the team? According to Magic, you said it's going to be a two, like, a, a two-summer process, but, um, you know, in this game, anything can happen, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're able to make something happen within this next year. I'm not going to hold my breath on that, but you know, it's LeBron, he's been to the finals yeah. the last eight years. So, yeah. so um, now let's switch topics a little bit because okay. you are also, you know, you've done basketball your whole life, but now you're moving into another kind of realm. Tell me about this shirt you have on and I think it'll answer a lot of these questions. Uh, yeah, so uh, LCC um, acronym stands for Luminary Creative Co. Uh, I started a, a business entity, which is, um, it's like a multimedia conglomerate. And I have. You're using big words. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, graduated UCLA. Anyway. <laughs> we started at UNC though. Go Tar Heels. <laughs> Go Bruce. It's a conglomerate, and I have different subsidiaries within you know, the company. One being Lightwork Productions, which is my production company. You know, I'm going to be pushing out a lot of content through through uh, my production company, music, uh, you know, other videos, and me working out, me in the studio. Um, you know, apparel, which is going to go on sale pretty soon. So, you know, I'm just really excited about all of that. So, how did you get started with music in the first place? Like, how did this come about? You're from <clears> the <throat> basketball, in and out family. Like. Well, look, I mean, to be completely honest with you, I've been writing, like, creative writing for pretty much my whole life. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't really start to put it, like, to together <laughs> with music, yeah, until I was in Carolina, actually, like 2009, 2010, I was kind of going through with a rough stretch. <laughs> I was going through a rough stretch, man, and at some points, I just remember, like, my, my mentions and my 
my ads being like crazy, especially like after games I wouldn't play well, so I would get a lot of heat just from like, you know, oh, so die hard. Clapbacks. Yeah, okay. well I mean it wasn't even like a clapback situation. It was just like There weren't right, a lot of trolls back then, like there are what now. Do you, no 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 listen, listen. Nobody really understands because <laughs> <laughs> like Tell you us. you weren't playing for uh, you know, world class, you know what I'm saying, North Carolina yeah, they basketball. Won, championship you won a championship in my freshman year, yeah. Well and what do you think about the new wave of um, athletes that are also very talented in music. Like we have Dame Lillard, mm -hmm. we have Victor Oladipo who can sing. Like who are both at the Team USA. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, you know, perfect. I was talking to Dame actually. So what chat, was, man. I mean, what is, because obviously we've all heard Kobe Bryant's album. We've all like Shaq's music and stuff too. I mean, AI, These Tony Parker. Like, athletes yeah. are actually really talented. Like, mm -hmm. you know, what do you think is going to happen with this? Is it going to be? Are we going to start seeing more of a mix of like athletes doing music? I don't, I don't, I don't see why not. I mean, because you know, sports and the music realm are very like you know they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Like all your favorite sports players, figures are all listening to you know music before their games or their right. matches or races or whatever, trying to get you know themselves going. Um, so I don't think it's any surprise that you know we're starting to see you know more athletes who are you know trying to break out as artists you know i mean at the end of the day you know you can be talented in, in different levels and different fields yeah, and yeah. different you know whatever it is that you're trying to do but a, a, another guy that's trying to do it all lavar ball <laughs> he is you know doing his jba thing right now yeah. and he actually recently said that he wanted to possibly in a few years get something that might compete with the NBA. Mm -hmm. Do you, are you for that? Like, you know, creating different leagues and, you know, players going overseas versus going to college? Or like, what are your <clears> thoughts <throat> on that? LeVar is like, man, he, I, I understand completely why he's so captivating, especially to like, you know, the general public. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not mad at him at all for, you know, for going about you know his business the way that he goes about it and i don't think that it's necessarily a, a bad idea for platforms and places for these yeah, players to go and yeah. opportunities uh, one being the g league um you know I'll, I'll play three total years in the g league it used to be the d league now it's the g yeah. league but i mean the majority yeah. of the players in the nba have played there at, at one point but you know again my only point being that people used to look at it look at it as something that was like a bad thing yeah. when really like it's you like, failed at life or yeah, like you failed or something, or, not, yeah. you know, so, you know, it just depends on your attitude and your mindset. Okay, so now we're going to get our attitudes to music. We're going to go ahead to your studio, which is still kind of... It's a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I, I think, I think uh, probably in another month or so it should be, it should be completely uh, finished. We're still waiting on a soundproof door and, you know, a couple okay. other like little miscellaneous things, but it's coming along nicely and I'm really excited about okay. it. Well, let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so, it's, um. It's hot in LA. Right it's, like it's like always hot. 10 to 15 degrees hotter in the valley than it is anywhere else, but, um. I wasn't prepared for this. This is the backyard. Obviously, we can see a little feng shui action. Do you, do you ever going. Actually, actually go on the hammock? Or of course, I mean that's what it's there for. Um, we got a I've, little. I've always wanted a hammock. Yeah, you can maybe and jump you on the hammock. Tent? Like, do you guys really? I, I don't, I don't. But Landon, who, who's my brother, and you know the producer, um, he likes to camp and he's like a big nature boy. He likes the. Uh, oh my gosh, this is. What is classic. it? Earthing, I think it's called. Earthing. Earthing is where you walk around barefoot and stuff. Anyway, okay. anyway, this is the uh, this is the studio which was uh, is the guest house turn studio okay so what is this room this is like the little chill area okay. uh living room slash kitchen uh have a bar bathroom oh, right this here is like a whole another house back here yeah it's a guest house it's a whole guest house so it's like you know really want people to feel at home when they're here so if i ever lose my job <laughs> you... i can come live here <laughs> okay so now we are getting into the actual so studio. this is yeah this is the actual studio right here um booth is over here uh, again, work with me. We don't have a door or anything set up yet, but <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, where the mic and everything is going to be. The setup station for the producer and the engineer is going to be right here. Computer monitors and everything like that. But <clears throat> I'm very, very, very excited about it, man. It's just like, you know, honestly, it's like a dream come true for me because mm -hmm. ever since, like, I realized that music was something that I wanted to do. It was just about getting it down on paper for me, uh, creating the business model, and then executing after that. 
So this is definitely a huge step. For well, us. do you have any music we can hear? Um, I I do. I have okay. not not recorded music. If you want me to like, I, I want can... you to do something. Come on, <laughs> you got to do something. We'll do something. All right, well shoot, I can go get the. Uh... Okay, cool. Okay, guys. So looks <laughs> like I am very persuasive, and I got Larry and and the beer that he had too. <laughs> Uh, made him very um, persuasive and very yeah, ready. No, You're mean, gonna you know, do a little bit. I, I gotta get used to performing and stuff. Yeah. Live shows anyway, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get. Yeah, you just get ready together. for the Fumble family. This is your first live tape, live, live, live performance. performance. Live performance. Okay. And the beat is made by your brother. So this is a family. <clears throat> yeah. So this is uh, my brother Landon. He goes by Lando, the uh, self-acclaimed sound astronaut, and. Uh, Okay. You know, he's got sound a very, <laughs> he's got a very unique sound, man. So, uh, don't really have a title for this yet. Just gonna go based off of the, uh, the vibes here. Thought maybe I was average. I ain't have it. Stuck when I imagine. How often is that gonna happen? Reenacting classic feels only. You know me. Nell and I got us a gold link for win lows peak way below C. Level up till I'm an OG. Time has been passing so slowly. Is this really how it's gonna be? You and I don't even speak anymore. God damn, that shit weak, but of course, you would rather be bored than they hit your boy. Please don't act like you ain't know it. You never left much of a choice. Conflicted this Yay! position. Yay! <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good. I liked it. Okay, well, we should let this guy get back to work again. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Larry, but the whole come join me. Oh, okay. Well, now you gotta scoot back. Oh, over. shit. Now you gotta scoot back over. All right, guys. I'm Bridget Johnson for The Fumble. Uh, Thank you, Larry, for joining. Press yeah. pass with Bridget Johnson. Tell them where they can follow you. Uh, you guys can find me on Twitter, uh, underscore Larry Light. Um, Instagram, Larry.Light. And I am Bridget Johnson. We'll see you next time. Peace out. We're gonna fall. Light work. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna fall. <laughs>